Looking for some options on some under seat storage for the Old Town Sportsman PDL 120 or 106? Stay tuned. See how you can make this your own. Welcome to the channel everybody and if you're new here my name is Jeremy I like to do kayak fishing videos and a little bit of golf content but today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over how to modify a tray underneath the seat in my Old Town Sportsman PDL 120 I did a review video on my kayak about a year ago and I've got a lot of really really good feedback from people and a lot of questions in regards to the tray that I use underneath the seat. Now I'll leave a link to that tray in the description down below as well as a link to my review video and you can go ahead and see that for yourself. But we're, what we're going to go over today is this tray and how we modify it to fit underneath the seat of this PDL 120. And anybody who owns a PDL 120 or a PDL 106 knows that it has these rod stagers underneath the seat that kind of prevent anything from sliding too far back underneath the seat. So I've come up with a way to modify this tray and we'll go over that in this video. But I will say that it all is all dependent on where you sit in your seat and how much leg room you need. But one day I was at one of the big box stores and I came across this oil pan that has this cutout. And I thought, man, that thing looks perfect for in my kayak because this cutout would go right over this knob that sticks up out of the kayak a little bit. And when I brought this thing home, you can see the seat back. I mean, this tray fits in here absolutely perfect. Now, if, if you happen to be a really short person that uses the front pegs, you would not have to modify this tray at all. I'm 5'10", and I normally have mine set in the fourth position so three showing and you can see it sticks out a good three inches here that I'll need to cut and modify and again the further back you go the less of a tray you're gonna have that's usable so this may not work for everybody but like I said for anybody using it in the fourth or fifth position even the sixth you may get a little bit of use out of this but I would say probably the fifth position is probably going to be max and still give you usable tray space. So we'll go through the process and show you how I modify this. So what you're going to end up doing is you're going to end up cutting this tray right down the middle and then you're going to end up overlapping the two sections to meet wherever you want it to be for your leg room that you have in your kayak. So that's the first thing we're gonna have to do is just make a cut. I mean, if you had a bandsaw, this would be super simple, but I'm gonna just end up having to put a line down the middle and cut it with a hacksaw more than likely. So let's get that process started. All right, so I got my line marked where I'm gonna cut along. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're gonna end up having to trim around some edges to make the two pieces fit together anyway. So, all right, let's get this cut in half and we'll join back up after that. I found it's just easier just to go ahead and cut it with a razor knife. Like I said, these cuts don't have to be anything pretty. They just 
you just have to get it in half because you're going to overlap it. Or like I said, if you had a bandsaw or something that you could just run this through real quick, it would make it super simple. I just don't have those tools. So, all right, now that we have it in two pieces, like I said, you're going to have to make some modifications once you do the overlap. One, you're probably going to have to cut this out in a little half circle to go over that. So once you have your seat in the position that you want, you can come over here and just see how wide you're going to want. For this one, I'm going to get away with seven and a half inches of depth. So that way when I go to make this overlap, I know I have to overlap it to where it has seven and a half. So I'm going to have to take a big portion of this center out. All right, once you have the center cut out so you can overlap here, you are going to end up, because of the way this sits here, you are going to end up having to take a big section of this side out so it can sit flush here and do the same here. So for, for this, I'm just going to go ahead and just cut around this little indentation and then that we'll just be left with just a flat side here and a flat side here. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so then here's how it looks after I've taken off the little side walls. I found that a razor knife cuts through this stuff fairly easily. You guys might find some easier ways to cut it. And again, it's not going to be the prettiest thing. It's just going to be functional. And then once you have it in this position, then you can put it together, slide it together. And then again, you can kind of adjust it however you need it for your boat. You may need to come in a little bit further. It was at this moment that I realized all you have to do to avoid cutting out the center is overlap it the other way. I don't know what I was thinking. And the more you come in, the more you're going to have to just take off from one side or the other. You can also overlap it this way if you want. That, that way your seam is on the going towards the back. But I'm going to end up putting mine together with some Gorilla Tape. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any black. I've just got the orange right now. And I'll just show you how that goes. And then you can just continue to modify it however you want. Again, it's not going to be the most beautiful thing in the world, but it will be very functional. I've been using mine for over a year now, and it's steep. All right, so this is pretty much it. Obviously, it would look better with some black duct tape, but you're not going for any beauty contest. You're just going for functionality. And another thing that I like to do is I like to just get some magnet strip here, and then I just like to peel that off and place it in here. You spray it down with a little bit of adhesive on there as well and then you could just toss some hooks here and I find that that's pretty useful. And then yeah you just slide it into place and then you're good to go. Able to use it out there on the water. Able to pull it pull it out and it goes over that knob there. So, yeah and it's just a good option. Just store random junk easy to access while you're out on the water. I've enjoyed it. I think it's a great little solution and uh, kind of fixes the problem that I've had with these rod stagers here. Still gives me some functional under seat storage. So hopefully that helps for anybody that's had any questions about how I modify this uh, tray for underneath the seat. And uh, like I said, I'll leave a link down below where you can get the, you can get the tray and uh, do the modifications for yourself to your own personal use. So I appreciate you watching. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, that like button, and leave me some comments. Thanks for watching.